Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Company Crochet and today we are going to make this really cute little peep. Um, Easter is definitely coming up close and I love to make homemade crochet gifts to put in my Easter baskets and this is just so much fun. It's so soft and plush. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this. I would definitely uh, deem this beginner friendly. I'm also gonna go slow and show you how to do it. Um, but if you're brand new to crochet and you, there are some stitches you don't know how to do in here, I have a beginner video below that can help you out with that. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below if you haven't yet so you can get notified of my future videos. And please like and share. Sharing helps more than anything and I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into our materials. So for our materials today, you're going to be using any kind of plush yarn that you want. Also, it doesn't have to be plush yarn. Just remember that this is a pretty uh, super bulky yarn. And so we're using a big hook with that, of course. And so if you use a different kind of yarn and a different hook, it's either going to make your project smaller or if you went up in size in yarn and hook, it's going to make it bigger. But I'm using an eight millimeter hook. I'm also going to need a pair of scissors, a darning needle. You will need safety eyes. Um, and I also used a nose. You don't have to put a nose on here. You will need some polyfill. Okay, so let's get into our tutorial. So we're going to start off with the um, ears and we're going to start off with a magic circle. And into this magic circle, we're going to put six single crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you can pull tight. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right in our last stitch. Uh, we will be working in the round, meaning that instead of slip stitching to close here, we're going to keep going around, okay? And then we're going to start doing um, some increases. So we're going to do one and two all the way around for a count of nine, meaning we're going to go into our next stitch. We're going to put one single crochet. Then we're going to go into the next and put two single crochets. Then we're going to go into the next and put one single crochet and into the next we're going to put two single crochets and into the next we're going to put one single crochet and into the next where our stitch marker is we're going to put two single crochets and then we're going to put our stitch marker back. Okay, and now we should have nine single crochets around, and now we're going to increase in the next three stitches, okay? So in this stitch, and this stitch, and this stitch, and the next three, we're going to put two single crochets. So one and two, and in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets, one and two, and in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets, one and two. So now that means that we have six single crochets around. And now we're gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around to our stitch marker. And we should have a count of 12. So I'm gonna count uh, with this six in mind. So I'm gonna go six, I'm gonna go into my next, that would be seven, into my next eight, into my next nine, into my next 10, into my next 11, and right where our stitch marker is is our 12th single crochet, and that's exactly the number that we need. Now I do wanna tell you that this yarn I'm using is a little bit more bulky than that um, plush velvety purple yarn, so this is actually gonna be a little bit bigger, okay? So again, now we have 12 single crochets around, and now we're just gonna do one row of single crochet all the way around. So just one single crochet in each stitch, which will leave our stitch count still at 12. Okay, 
Okay, so let's just count and make sure that we have uh, the right amount of stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And so we do, and we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're going to put one single crochet. And then we're going to do a decrease. And I'm gonna show you how to do this decrease and just know that any other time we're decreasing in this video, we're doing the same thing and it's an invisible decrease, okay? So I'm gonna go into the front loop of my next stitch and then I'm gonna go into the front loop of my next stitch. Then I'm gonna pull my yarn through. I have two loops on my hook and I'm gonna go both through both of those loops and that's an invisible decrease, okay? And again, we're gonna go into our next stitch and put one single crochet. And in the next, we're going to do again an invisible decrease. So going through this front loop and then into the next stitch, front loop, pull our yarn through. We have two loops, go through both loops. And then go to your next stitch and put a single crochet. So you're just doing that all the way around. One single crochet and then a decrease one single crochet, and then finally a decrease. So in our last decrease, this is where our stitch marker is. You're gonna pull out your stitch marker. You're gonna go through the front loop of this one and the front loop of the one that your stitch marker was in, pull through, and then go through both loops. Now you can put your stitch marker back. Okay, and now you should have eight stitches around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and now we are done with our first ear. It's totally completed. And so now we're gonna do another one and we're gonna do it exactly the same way. But for this one, we're gonna cut off. And for the next ear that we make, we're not gonna cut off at all. So you can just leave a little bit here and you can just pull through. No need to do a chain one or anything, just pull through. And then our other ear, we will attach to this ear, okay? So when you do your other ear, leave the crochet yarn on your hook, okay? And I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so we're back and I finished my other ear. I've got my yarn and hook still attached here and I've got my stitch marker still in. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump over to this other ear to join them together. So this is the ear that we have here. We're gonna leave this piece on because we're gonna use this to sew up a little gap that happens when we put these ears together. So don't cut that off or anything. And then we're gonna go right into our first available stitch right after this piece right here. So we've got this whole situation going on right here and we're gonna go right beside it into the next stitch. And that can be kind of hard to find, but if you can see here, this is all working in with this one. So we wanna go into this stitch right here after that, and we're gonna come in with a single crochet, okay? And then we're gonna go into our next stitch and do one single crochet. And then we're going to do a decrease. So we're gonna go into our next stitch. Remember, we're doing the invisible decrease, the next two stitches. And then we're going to do two single crochets. And then we're going to do a decrease again. And that can be kind of hard to work into this last one here, but go ahead and work through that and then do a decrease there as well. And then we're gonna jump over here to this other side and we're gonna do the same thing. Again, we wanna miss this place right here. We don't wanna work into this. We wanna go into this first available stitch after that. And again, you're going to work um, one single crochet and then do another single crochet and then do two together. And again, work one single crochet, then work one single crochet, and then we're going to do two together. And this is gonna land us right back to where our stitch marker is. So you can pull your stitch marker out and you're going to put that as part of your decrease for this last one here, okay? And now we have our ears together and we should have a stitch count of 12, all right? So now I'm gonna put my stitch marker back in this last stitch here. So we're gonna go right into our next available stitch and we're going to put two single crochets, one and two. And you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a count of 24. So just doing two single crochets in each stitch. 
So we're going to put a, our stitch marker back. And now we're going to do four rounds of single crochet. So just, we've got a stitch count of 24. We're just gonna keep that there and we're gonna do four rounds of single crochet. And then I'll meet you back in just a minute. Okay, so we've done our four rounds of single crochet. And remember I told you that there was gonna be a little hole in between the ears, and this is what it looks like right here. And that's just where you brought them together. But remember I said, keep that little piece. So we've kept that piece here. And we're gonna put this piece onto our darning needle and we're gonna uh, sew this hole shut. I'm gonna do it from the inside though. So where you can see right here, um, you can see where that hole is. And I'm literally just gonna go back and forth and just sew it up the best I can. That's all you're doing. You're not gonna really be able to see your stitches. They'll be between the ears. So you don't have to be super careful with this part but you do want to keep it on your darning needle. <laughs> okay. This yarn has a tendency to want to come off your darning needle. I've seen some people actually knot it to keep it on there. Okay, so again, we're just finishing filling up this hole here. And then I'm just going to do one more. I'm just gonna look at the top and see we've got it all closed now. And you can just leave this hanging into the middle of your work um, if you want, or you could work it in the back a little bit if you're worried about it coming undone. Um, totally up to you. Just work it in the back of your stitches though so you can't see them through the front and then just let it fall down into the middle. And now we're gonna stuff our ear and I'm just gonna run that stuffing right up into the ear. So now we're going to do 12 decreases all the way around. So in other words, you're going to decrease in every two stitches around. So I'm gonna go into my next stitch and then in the next stitch, doing this invisible decrease, there's one and into the next, there's two and into the next, there's three, and into the next four and then for our last two here pull out your stitch marker and do your last invisible decrease and now we have 12 stitches all the way around so then you're going to put your stitch marker back just like that and that doing that decrease there really pulls that head in okay and now we're just going to do one single crochet of 12 all the way around. So you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and your stitch count should still be 12. And then in your last stitch, pull out your stitch marker, do your last single crochet, and then put your stitch marker back. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our safety eyes on and our little nose. I'm gonna show you exactly where to put those and then we're gonna stuff our head. Okay, so what I did was for the eyes is I counted down from the top of the ears, one, two, three, and four. So right here at the end of the four line is where I brought in my eyes and then one, two rows down is where I put my nose, okay? So we're gonna count and do the same thing here. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna put them at the base here and we're gonna spread them out about five stitches apart. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna put one over here. And again, I'll count one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll put one over here. And then we're gonna place our nose. Remember we go one down and then to the next. And we wanna try to place it right in the middle of that five. So right about here, we're gonna place the nose. So now we're gonna go ahead and stuff our head. So when we stuff this in here, all this stuffing, you wanna make sure that you use your hands to work it along the side. So I like to take it and go like this with my fingers, trying to make sure that it's circular by going around pushing all the stuffing to the side of the work, okay? So where it looks like this. And we're going to increase now. So we're going to do one single crochet into our next stitch and then two single crochet in the next. And then one single crochet in the next stitch 
and two single crochets in the next. Just keep doing that all the way around for a stitch count of 18. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and put one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet, and into the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. Again, go into your next stitch and put one single crochet, go into your next stitch and put one single crochet, and then go into the next and put two single crochets. And you should have a stitch count of 24 by the end of this round. Now you're going to do six rounds of single crochet. Remember, you should have a stitch count of 24 around for each round. And then I'll meet you back up in just a minute. Okay, so we've done our six rounds of single crochet, and now we're going to do some decreasing. So we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease all the way around. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and do one single crochet, and then go into the next, and we're going to do a decrease. And then we're gonna to go to the next and do one single crochet, and then go to the next and do a decrease. And just keep doing that all the way around. And then in these last two stitches, we're going to do a decrease. And now we should have a stitch count of 16 going all the way around. So we're gonna put our stitch marker back and now we're going to do decreases all the way around. So again, we're gonna go into our next stitch, do an invisible in the next stitch, do an invisible decrease, and just do that in all your stitches all the way around. And this should leave you with a stitch count of eight. And then in our last two stitches, pull out our stitch marker, and work that last invisible decrease. And now we have eight single crochets all the way around here at the end, okay? And we're gonna put our stitch marker back. We're gonna pull this last uh, loop out really far because we're gonna go ahead now and stuff our body, okay? You could have done it in the last row instead if you don't like working into such a small hole, but I don't mind working into that. Okay, and so now we have our peep all the way stuffed, and we're going to go ahead and we're gonna cut off, we're gonna put our yarn back in and pull this loop, and then we're gonna leave enough yarn to work in and to cut off. And I wanna show you how to do this really cool close for your work here, and all you're gonna do is just pull this out. You can take your stitch marker out now, and then you're just gonna place this onto your darning needle. So again, no chain one at the end or anything, you're just gonna leave it open. And then you're going to work into each of these front loops here. And again, you should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this one is part of this one here. I need to tighten that up a little bit. Um, but you're gonna work through the front loop of all eight of these stitches. So you're gonna go into this first stitch, working in the front loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, working in those front loops. And then you can pull, it's just gonna close all the way for you there. Okay, and then what you can do is you can just take this piece and work it right back into your project. Because this is done in all one piece, you don't have that much to work in. And when you pull that in, it'll just pull it right close and you have a wonderful closed circle there. And then you're just gonna go in and out of the same place to work this last piece in to make sure it never comes undone. And then you can cut off. And now you have a completed peep. Isn't it so cute? But just to show you how much smaller this one is compared to this one, and they're both super bulky yarns. This one's just that velvet touch, but um, I'm using the same size hook and everything, and as you can see, this one is uh, quite a bit bigger than this one. 
um, and it just looks different. You know, it's just because it's totally different yarn. So just keep that in mind when you pick your yarns. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything, you can comment below on YouTube. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can find me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. I also have a Gmail, and I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.